Okay, we're in the lovely uh, volume four with David and Goliath on it. We are in part two, story four, David Crown King. I went back to the uh, other one that doesn't have very much information on. Okay, 15 years had now passed since David killed Goliath, most of which time he had spent hiding from his angry father-in-law. Now he was 30 years old, thir excuse me, now he was 30 years of age and beloved by all the people from one end of the, of the country to the other. Already he had been anointed king by the people of Judah, but now the rest of Israel who for a while had remained loyal to Saul's son, wanted to serve him also. So as the, all the elders of Israel came to the king, to Hebron, this is the mixed up verse, and they anointed David king over Israel. What a coronation it was. What a procession. The land of of the Philistines had never seen anything like this. Tens of thousands of people came to the ceremony. Every tribe sent its finest troop, all full, fully armored, and you can sure their swords and their shields and their spears were all polished till they shone like mirrors. At the head of a long line of marching men came the page. Yeah. At the head of of the long line of marching men came the soldiers of Judah. Six thousand eight hundred of them, all bearing shields and spears, ready armed to war. Trump, 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 or Tramp, 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 it is T-R-A-M-P, okay, don't get your stickers in the wad, but uh, T-R-A-M, Tramp, Tramp, Tramp. Couldn't you see them marching by? Next came seven, uh, 7,100 or 7,100 from the tribe of Simeon, all mighty men of valor. Then came 4,600 of the children of Levi with, with 3,700 3, of the house of Aaron, including Zadok, a young, mighty, wait, including Zadok, a young man, mighty in valor, for from whose father's house were 22 captains. Next in line were 3,000 of the men of the men of Benjamin, most of whom had been in the service of Saul till this moment. Then came a splendid Contingent, 20,800 from the tribe of Ephraim, all mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. Following these were 18,000 from the half-tribe of Manasseh, each one expressly named to come and make David king. And then it has, in quote, RSV. Um, I know what that means. That's that, um, that book I'm reading. It's the old, old version. Um, I forgot what version it is of the Bible. Okay. Um, Reinhardt. I want to say Reinhardt, but it, it might not be. Okay. Next came 200 older men 
sent by the tribe of Issachar. Of them, the record says, they had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. For Zublin came 50,000, all marched in perfect possession, procession. They were expert in war and with all instruments of war, and they could keep rank. They were not of double heart. In other words, um, Zebulun, uh, the tribe of Zebulun, didn't have people that were would turn real easy. Nephtali had 37,000 men and 1,000 captains, all of shields and spears, and those that followed by 28,600 of the men of men of Dan. And then they got a big, huge, very colorful illustration, two-page illustration of them of all the soldiers. See? And this is what it could have looked like. I mean, just thinking of the hundred people in a building is, is something else. Cause, and then a hundred when you do a lot. Okay. 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 From Asher came four 40,000, all keeping their rank. Then for the tribes living on the other side of the Jordan, Reuben, Gad, and the half, the other half tribe of Manasseh came mighty hosts numbering 120,000. All, oh, what a thrilling sight that must have been. All these men of war that could keep rank Come with perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Israel. And all the rest had also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. After the procession and the coronation, there was a great feast which lasted three days. Needless to say, a great deal of food must have was eaten by those thousands of people those thousands of people the bible says that it was prepared by the tribes who lived nearest to hebron and they brought bread on donkeys it doesn't say donkeys and on camels and on mules and on ox oxen and the meat meal cake of figs and bunches of grapes and wine and oil and oxen and sheep abundantly yeah it had to be a big party everybody was happy there was joy in israel it was a wonderful start to david's reign among those presents present in that great throng, throng were some of David's special friends who had stood by him through all the dark days when he had, was fleeing from Saul. How they must have enjoyed talking, enjoyed talking of those exciting times as they ate together. Outstanding among them were the three mighty, as they were called, one of whom once fought 300 men single-handed, and one, another, in an hour of great peril, had stood shoulder to shoulder with David in the field of barley and turned the tide of the battle. Once when they were all hiding in the cave of Abdullam, David had said, Oh, what one gave me a drink of water from the well of Bethlehem that was at the gate. He belonged, 
he belonged for some he longed for some of that clear cool water he had to drink so often in his boyhood day then the three mighties had set out to get it for him breaking through all the ranks of the enemy they made their way to the well and brought back some water so overcome had David been by their amazing strength, their amazing courage and devotion that he had refused to drink the water, feeling he was unworthy of so, so great a sacrifice. So reverently he had poured it out upon the ground as an offering to God. Another famous man present at the coronation was Ben Aha. Ben Aha. B E N A I A H. Ben Ahai, who had done many acts of great bravery. He could tell, he could tell a slaying to lion like men of Moab and of slaying a lion in a pit on a snowy day. He once met an Egyptian giant about eight feet high who had a spear like a weaver's beam. Oh, weaver's beams are really big. If you have ever seen one, you would be surprised. It's big as a room, especially this room, anyway. Okay, and he plucked the spear out of the, and he plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with it, with his own spear. Together with all these great heroes, together with these great heroes, were another, mighty men, helpers of the war. These were armed with bows, and could use both the right hand and the left hand by hurling stones and shooting arrows out of the bow. Oh, these guys were amadextrous. Amadextrous. Now that's the big word. Amadextrous. That means two hands. Of still others, it is said that they could handle shield and buckler whose faces were like the faces of lions and were as swift as the rose upon the mountain. Yeah, that's what it says. One that was least had restraint a hundred, and the greatest a thousand. With such gallant, gallant men to help him, no wonder David won the war and became and came to the throne of Israel. And is a feast down at the bottom. Uh, two pager. <laughs> I'll try to get it in, in the frame. There it is. Two frame. And them eating. And enjoying and talking. Okay. That was... Part two, story four. So, gonna break and uh, we're gonna go to the next one.